What is going on everybody? Today's video is going to be all about catching some catfish. We're going to catch some catfish up at this farm pond again. I hope you guys liked that video that I posted a few days ago about our uh, catfish hot dog challenge. Hope you guys found that very interesting. It was really fun to shoot. Uh, today we're going back out to the same pond. We're going to catch some more catfish, but this time we're going to keep a couple and actually fillet them up and eat them. So please stay tuned for the video. If you like these kind of videos, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and stay tuned for the video. The other day I was fishing with hot dogs. Today we're going to be using just some regular blood cat bait that you can pick up in any retail store. One already pulled it. All right, we got our first one pulling on it, guys. I'm gonna tighten this drag down. First crappie right there, guys. That's a good one. Look at that. Woo. Look at that nice little slab right there, fellas. And I'm just out here catfishing. I grabbed my daughter's little spinning combo here. That's why it's a pink. I'm not into pink rods, if you were wondering. Flip this little crappie jig out there. Right there is what I'm using, fellas. Are you going to keep it, Daddy? Right there, get that thing. Big old crappie. All right, so we're going to throw out beside the dock again, see if we can get another one right there. There might be a school. Tank, boy. Dude, that ain't even a big one. Oh, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kim, she got him a crappie. That's crazy looking. Heck yeah, pulling him in. I'm going to cast this up here and see if we can get one more catfish for the. for the catch, clean, and cook. Kids have just been tearing them up today, but I'm just gonna see if I can get one more. All right, we're getting some nibbles. So my camera actually ended up dying, so I couldn't shoot the footage for catching the second catfish. Uh, but come along with us, and I'm gonna show you how to fillet and clean up these catfish. All right, we got our two catfish. We're gonna be heading back to the kitchen. So if you've never filleted up any catfish before, or know the process, please stay tuned for that. And we're gonna show you how to do it. Okay, we are back in the kitchen and we got this nice catfish out on our cutting board here. I'll show you how to flay this thing up. 
First thing you want to do is kind of find where the back of the head is. And right there, we're just going to kind of insert the knife right behind the head. All right, and right up to the spine. At the spine, I'm going to go ahead and make my cut all the way down the spine of the fish. And I'm going to kind of angle my knife in towards the spine as I go down the length of the fish here. That way we can preserve as much meat as possible. Okay, and once you get past the rib cage, and you'll feel where the end of the rib cage is, I'm gonna go ahead and make the incision all the way through. Cut like a red All right, angle. I'm still going down the length of the tail here, and then just straight out. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is kind of turn the catfish back up on its belly and I'm just going to start peeling away the skin right against the rib cage here. Just making quick little cuts here. Okay, so I flipped the catfish over and I'm actually gonna do the same exact same thing that I did on the other side. Okay, when it comes to separating the skin from the actual meat, uh, the biggest thing is to place the skin side down first, and I'm just applying pressure to the top of the meat with my hand while I'm running the knife between the skin and that meat, trying to keep it as close to the skin side as possible. Look at that. Almost all came off. Except for a little bitty piece. Look at that. That is gonna be delicious. So that was the cleaning portion of this video. And guys, stay tuned. We're gonna actually show you how to cook this too. Guys, for the breading mixture, it is a Korean style breading called panko. And I'm gonna be using that, and the other one is just a hot sauce. You can use any type of hot sauce you want. I know a lot of people use uh, just eggs to actually keep the breading to stick to the meat, um, but I've found that this hot sauce actually works even better, and it makes the batter even that much more crispy. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just gonna repeat this for all the different fillets. 
And the fillets I'm doing right now is actually the crappie that me and Kimchi call. Kimchi's throwing the crappie in the pan. Oh yeah. Okay, starting on the catfish, I'm actually gonna use eggs and combine that with the hot sauce for this one. And there's uh, the catfish fillets. We're gonna throw those in. And we're just gonna repeat the same way we did for the crappie. Okay, I didn't have a deep fryer handy, so I just used a bunch of oil and just a large pan. We got some real crispy catfish and crappie nuggets right here. Guys, I hope you like this video. I had a lot of fun shooting it. Uh, it's just awesome catching these catfish. And it doesn't matter if it's a farm pond or a river, or whatever. It's just a great time, especially if you're out with family and friends. You can't beat that. So I hope you guys learned something, especially if you've never filleted up catfish or uh, cleaned them before and guys go ahead and watch these videos at the end of this uh, video and help me out and i appreciate all the love you guys have given me so far please hit that like button subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video